Hello and welcome back to another Final Cut Pro tutorial. In this one I'm going to show you how to do a parallax effect. Now the best way of doing this would be to go out with your camera, with your tripod, take a picture of a subject and then move the subject out and take a picture of just the blank background. But because I'm being lazy I've just downloaded a clip from a royalty free site I'm just going to use that. So let's jump in and have a look. Okay so I grabbed this clip and it's of this drink being lifted up, taken out of the shot. I'm going to cut the clip with Shift and H to hold one of the frames where the drink is in the scene. Then I'm going to move it along to where the drink is out of the scene. I'm going to do the same thing, Shift and H, and then cut that. Okay, I'm going to delete the rest. Now I've just got the two where the drink is in the shot and then the drink is out of the shot and it's just the background. Then I'm going to drag the background underneath the drink. Just crop that to make it the right size. Then we're going to go and find the draw mask, put that on, and we're going to have to draw all the way around the outline of the drink. Now, if you zoom in, it will make it easier, and the more points you put, the better it will be. I'm just going to speed this bit up now. Okay, then what I'm going to do is go to the bottom clip and then add the Ken Burns effect to it. You can play this through, just to make sure it's moving in the right direction. It's not. The background there is moving forwards, whereas I want it to be moving backwards, and then I can animate the front to move forwards as well to give that parallax effect. So let's go and switch that round. There you go. The background is moving backwards. Then back to the front clip, and then all you need to do is put it right to the start of the clip, and then keyframe the scale on it, leave it at 100%, move it to the end of the clip, Increase the scale, 120% for example. And then let's watch that through. And there you go. I'm going to change the feathering a bit, just so it looks a bit more believable. I'm going to add a little bit of sharpening to the front clip as well, just so it stands out better. That is it. Really simple parallax effect in Final Cut. I hope you can use this for something interesting and hopefully see you in the next one. Thank you.